How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be tying the blue and gold crappie jig. To start off we're using a 1 16th ounce jig head and I powder painted that with Protec Disco Gold. I'm using a blue 140 denier UTC Ultra Thread. We're going to start that behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. For the tail we're going to be using a single yellow marabou feather so I'm going to run my fingers up that feather from the stem to straighten it all out. Then we're going to measure it against the jig. We want it to be about the length of the hook. Now that I've got that measured out, I'm going to tie that in right here at the point of the hook. Just going to do a few very tight wraps to keep the feather held down. And once you've got about five, you can let go and tie the feather up the rest of the way. Again, just nice tight wraps. Once you've got that feather up at the head, you can cut that butt section off. Okay, clean up the fluffy bits there and bring your thread back down to the tail. Make any adjustments necessary to make the tail stay straight. And then we're going to bring the thread back up to the head. For the body, I'm going to be using this Crystal Ice Age Chenille. This is Blue Minnow from Nimrod's Tackle. We're just going to tie our tag end at the head here and bring our thread back down to the tail as we tie down that chenille nice and tight. Once you get to the tail, you can bring your thread back up to the head and start winding the chenille. You just want the wraps to be tight wraps that are pressed up against the last. This will give us a nice seamless body. Be careful not to release any tension on this, as you want the body to be nice and even all the way up. So we're just going to take our time as we turn this chenille. If you don't have a long enough piece, you may need to use the rotary function of the vise if you have that. And that will help us to get the chenille all the way to the head. Looks like I have just enough. Once you got it there, you can tie it down, give it a few very tight wraps. And then you can cut the tag end. And now we're going to whip finish. So we're just going to do a five or six turn whip finish. Pull our thread tight and cut the thread. So that's it. This is a very simple pattern, but these colors are highly effective. If you haven't tried blue and yellow or blue and gold, I definitely recommend you try that out. This is just an excellent color combination. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.